Hello and welcome to our live Tuesday service. I hope I find you well wherever you are. I pray that God is blessing you and uh, he is raising you in this season and in this time. It's, it is in times like this, it's in seasons like this, that many of the men and women that we call anointed or blessed, they were raised. We are raised in fire. We are raised through the dark clouds, through the vicissitudes of life, through the challenges and problems of life. That's where we are refined. And we are, it's in times like this that Christians have to rise up and pick up themselves and do what they are supposed to do. Rise up through the fire, rise up through the waters, rise up through the problems and the challenges that you face every day and overcome them by the power of the Spirit of God. And we spoke last uh, week on the um, uh, reasons why God gives anointing. And you will, re you will recall that the anointing is given specifically for challenging times, for challenging situations. I gave you 10 reasons why God would release an anointing over your life, why God should release an anointing over your life. And of all the 10 reasons, anointing is not given so that people can go home and enjoy themselves. Anointing is not given when things are not tough, when things are not difficult. Anointing is given when things are tough and when things are difficult. And in that moment, in that atmosphere, when the anointing is released, the anointing will catapult you. It will raise you. It will put you on the platform, raise you and give you an age over other people. It is it, it, the, the competitive age of a Christian is the anointing. And uh, I am blessed and uh, I'm highly favored. And uh, one thing that I know is that even if challenges come, even storms come, the Bible says, uh, he, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against uh, the challenges that we face. I'm not afraid of the situations that we are, uh, that are around our lives. Uh, as we battle with uh, challenges throughout the world and try to contain the, the, the pandemic that is around us. And a lot of people now are so afraid with death on the left and death on the right. But I want you to know that it's in times like this that Christians are supposed to stand and stand for what they believe, stand for what they have been speaking about. This is the time to stand for what we have been preaching about. It's not really time to preach, it is time to showcase what we have. It is the time that we say, devil come through the window, we will fight you. The devil might come through any other way, any other direction, we are ready to face the devil. And why we are ready to face the devil mainly is because of what we carry in the inside of our lives. It is the anointing that we carry in the inside that propels us uh, uh, higher above the storms. We soar, we fly, we going up, we are, we are skating the, 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 the things that the devil is throwing under our feet. We are rising above the storms. The grace of God is on our life and it's the time to showcase what we carry. It's the time to tell the devil that we are the children of God and are uh, uh, born of God. We are called of God. We are not afraid and we should be able to stand through the times that we face. I pray that each and every person out there is not intimidated by the forces of darkness. Each and every person out there is not forced down by the powers of evil. Each and every one of us out there is not destroyed or distraught because of what the devil is throwing at our lives or is doing in this season. We are not ashamed 
we are not moved we are not uh, uh, um, taken aback we are strong uh, I want to greet a number of people that have already joined us <coughs> tonight I hope you are well wherever you are uh, and then we're going to be rolling I'm already on fire I'm on fire for the Lord. It's not a season to forget God. It's not a season to sit down and sit back. It's a season where uh, when you go into your prayer room, it's like you're saying, God, hello, Lord. Hello, God. Hello, we, we continue from where we left. So it's not a time where you forget about prayer and think about it when something is about to happen. It's a time for Christians. This is a moment for us. Uh, the moment where the world is, 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 is getting everything and is going back into their homes. Then, we, that, that, then when we stand and we let our, shine, our light shine again our light is shining through the dark clouds our light is shining through the darkness our lights are shining everywhere even when things are not working out well but i believe so much that as you join me tonight the lord will empower you will strengthen you will give you uh, so much understanding uh, as to uh, how are we supposed to, to, to deal with ourselves? How are we supposed to uh, conduct ourselves on a daily basis to try and make sure uh, that we are uh, getting where we're supposed to go? We are going where we're supposed to go. We are achieving what we are supposed to achieve. We are not intimidated. Uh, we are strong in the Lord. Uh, thank you very much. Wellington Mbambe says, fire, fire, Bishop. Truly, it's fire for fire. We, if the devil throws his fire, we're throwing ours. We are not afraid. We are not moved. We are not intimidated. We are strong in the Lord. The Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run there and are not, are not, are not afraid. We are strengthened by the realization and the understanding that the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us every day and I want to assure you wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, the Lord has not left us. The Lord has not forgotten us. The Lord is still uh, the Lord. The center is still holding holding on the the, the 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 power of god is still in charge uh we we not moved we are not moved not an inch not 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 a centimeter we not moved we're still standing on the word of god the word of god is the foundation that we stand is the power that we stand on we believe in the word we are stuck on the word and we believe we will overcome it's only a few, uh, 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 in a few weeks or a few months, this thing will be over and we will continue from where we left. But others will fall, but we're not the one that will fall. We're not, we're not in between those numbers that are going to be counted. We are not part and parcel of those that are going to die. We are not part and parcel of those that are going to be shifted and to be moved. We are among the numbers that are going to be counted. I love the song um, uh, that says, I want to be in that number uh, uh, when the saints go marching on and we, the saints that are going to march on and we are going to be in that number. The number of those that are going to keep marching on. So keep marching on, child of God, wherever you are, keep marching on. Don't be moved. Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be intimidated. Don't be shifted. Don't, 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 don't move anywhere. Not to the right, not to the left. Keep standing. We stand on the word of God uh, uh, because we believe and we know who we are. Ronald Mutsiki, you're welcome. Uh, uh, Brandy Gumbo, you're welcome. Betty Fesher Tenkatazo, you're welcome. Oh my word, oh my word. Tari Roti Magasi, you're welcome. Lois Kuzanai, you're welcome. Uh, Wellington Mambe, you're welcome. Brenda Mchingo Mimkono Shuro, you're welcome. Uh, Cornelius Kacheri, you're welcome all the way from UK. Um, Florence Chib, we are welcome. Um, I see, I see a lot of people who have already joined us. Edna Tanyarazwa, 
you are welcome uh wherever you are please join in join in the fire is already blowing from left to right the presence of god is in the place uh, i want to encourage you strengthen you keep holding on onto the face of the lord onto uh onto the garment of jesus don't lose your hope don't lose yourself don't get moved by anything that's happening anywhere you are still the child of god you are still the one you're still the chosen one you are still going to make it among the saints that will be counted you will make it please keep on going the fire of the lord is on your life the spirit of the lord is pushing you so we discuss Discussing the anointing, we're discussing the anointing. I'm going to go to today's lesson, but as we go into what we're going to be talking about today, I want you to never forget that we're discussing about the power that God has given to Christians. It is the power that separates us from the heathens. It is the power that shows the difference that you are a Christian and who is a Christian among us and who is not a Christian. It is the power, the power that is inherent. I was teaching this concept on Sunday in church and I was, I was drilling a very important uh, and, 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 and a very interesting concept in the, uh, uh, in the body of Christ that we need to understand that the anointing works from the inside out the anointing uh, does not work from the outside in and in the in the in the garden of eden the the children of israel like adam we talk about adam we talk about eve in the garden of eden they were engulfed in the glory of god so the devil could not touch them because the glory of god was over their lives but later on god introduces the anointing and when god introduces the anointing the anointing is the force it is the power of God that works from the inside uh, of a person the inside of a life of a person and when you pray for people we impart the anointing the anointing goes straight in the inside of the person and after you have been prayed for you'll discover that the anointing cannot be seen on the outside the anointing cannot be seen on your cloth at one point the Bible uh, talks about Moses coming out from the mountain and the glory of God covered his face and the children of Israel could not look at him in the face because the the, the, the light was so much he was uh, 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 so much under the fire and the glory of the Lord so they could not they could not they could not look at Moses but later on you discover that God then introduces the anointing and when the anointing comes you cannot see it on the outside of a person but you can only pick it up if you can read what is in the inside of that person so it is the responsibility of every christian to invoke the anointing to move the anointing that's inside you to the situations that we face and i declare that in this season you will pull out the anointing in the inside of your life and bring it down on to, onto COVID-19 and COVID-19 will not have a force, a name, a power over your life. You will pull the anointing out of your, the inside of your life. You will release it on the situations and circumstances that you face and every satanic plan against your life is going to be broken down you in this season i pray that somebody will be able to pull out the anointing and your financial situation is going to change if you can pull up the anointing in the inside of your life declare it with your mouth declare that i am anointed declare that i carry the force and the power of god i am not just a christian i am an anointed son of god when the bible says touch not my anointed this is what it means that you cannot be touched but you discover that everything on the outside does not depict that but if you can pray and bring down the anointing on the outside the fire will rise up around your life and you will not be changed by the circumstances on the situations that you face the power of god has to rise up in the newness of your life and cover you cover you in glory and be able to stand when you face the situations and circumstances of this world i 
pray that somebody will learn this lesson, will rise up and be able to declare the word of God. Declare it against your enemies. Declare it against your situations and your circumstances. Declare the force and the fire and the power of God over everywhere. You remember we always talk about the story of Shadrach, Michigan, Abednego, and they were about just about to be thrown into the fire. And Nebuchadnezzar says to them, guys, you would rather give up now than to be thrown into the fire. The furnace has been hit seven times more and the, the enemies just wanted to intimidate them, but not just intimidate them, the enemy was serious. And I want you to know that the enemy against your life is serious. This is not jokes. This is serious. People are dying. People are going. Some things are happening. If you're not serious, some things are going to take you out and take you down. And, and, and the bubble uh, 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 is clear that uh uh, and Nebuchadnezzar threw these guys into the fire. But before he threw them into the fire, he gave them an opportunity to give up onto their God. And this guy says, we are ready to die. Be it known unto you, King Nebuchadnezzar, that we are not going to bow down to your image. But if it means that God does not fight for us, I know that God is going to fight for us. But if God does not fight for us, let it be known that we're still not going to bow down to your image. We're still not bowing down to your image. We believe in God. We are stuck on God. We believe that God does not leave us and God will always stand for us. And I declare that in this season, the Lord will stand with you, that the Lord will fight for you, that the Lord will stand for you. This is the presence of the Lord, there's going to be the presence of the Lord in your life. Keep that, hold on to that. I know you're facing challenges all around your life. Relatives that are sick, family that's not feeling well. Challenges and situations that are coming all over your life. But I pray as I declare that the power of God will sustain you as a Christian. You are not bowing down to the systems of evil. You are not coming down to where the devil is and saying that the devil is going to win. The devil will never win, but God is going to win. We more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. And uh, 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 the Bible says, these guys are thrown straight into the fire. But as they're thrown into the fire, these guys are then not bent. Nothing happens to their lives. And declare this grace over your life that you are not going to be destroyed by anything that's going to be thrown in your life. It's not going to destroy you. The Bible says it's not meant to kill you. It's not meant to kill you. It's not meant to destroy you. It's meant to strengthen you. It's meant to strengthen you. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Don't be moved. Don't be shifted. Be strong in the Lord. 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 Uh, uh, the, the, the guys finally, they declare the anointing to the force and the power of the fire. Imagine that they're going to be thrown in the fire, but they pull out the anointing and say, let the anointing face the fire. And the fire and the anointing, the fire could not consume them because they were anointed. The anointing was enough to protect the three guys in Babylon, if Daniel, when Daniel was thrown under in, into, into the pit straight where the lions were, the lions were supposed to eat him and just destroy him. But one thing that Daniel does is he pulls up the anointing in his life. They, these people, they looked at him and looked at him and, and saw that he was just an ordinary child. He was just an ordinary man. He was just an ordinary a person who loved the Lord. But one thing that they did not know, that in the inside of his life was a fire, was force, was power. It was the anointing that was in the inside of his life. And he, he pulled out the anointing out of his life. And the lions could not eat him. The lions could not destroy him. And when the lions could not destroy him, the king could not understand it. And he brings it down and says, uh, 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 may the Lord live forever. 
This is what Nebuchadnezzar says. He says, may your God live forever, Daniel, who protected you from the mouths of the lions. The lions could not eat you. And in this season, I declare that the fire will not destroy you. No, the lions will take you all out your life. Nothing in this world that's going to be thrown at your life will get an opportunity to bring down your life. Oh my God, I pray for you. I release the grace of God on your life in this season. Don't be afraid. Don't be moved. You are sustained by the power of God. You are sustained by the anointing of God. You are sustained by the fire in the inside of your life. They cannot see it. People cannot see it. You might not even see it on the outside, but it's there. When the need comes, you will pull it out of your life and use it against the systems of evil. You are more than a conqueror. The power of God is in your life. The force of God is on your life. Be sustained. Be believing. Be understanding that the power of the Lord is on my life. And the Lord will not allow me to be destroyed in this season. Quick things that I'm going to talk about tonight and then we, we wrap up this broadcast. Powerful things, 10 reasons uh, that I'm going to talk about. 10 reasons. Last week I talked about uh, uh, 10 reasons for the anointing. Why and the anointing is to come on your life and what's supposed to happen to you. But today I'm going to, to go on 10 reasons that render the anointing useless, that make the anointing powerless. I want to, I want you to learn this is very critical, this is very important, because in this season, one thing that you're never supposed to lose is the anointing. Please don't lose the anointing. Please don't lose the anointing. I pray for you that you don't lose the anointing. You don't lose the anointing. Don't allow the anointing to go anywhere. Hold on to the anointing. Stand strong to the anointing. Don't allow the anointing to shift. Don't allow the anointing to go anywhere. Be stuck on the anointing. Let the anointing of the Spirit of God be stuck on your life. So I pray that the power of God that is in the inside of your life will not be deemed useless. It will not lose its power. But it will continue to rise up and rise up and rise up and stand for you so that it can fight for you. Uh, the 10 reasons that I just looked around and saw that God, the Holy Spirit began to teach me and teach me why a lot of us then are going to lose on the power of the anointing. And I said, I'm, I'm saying this with a heavy heart because I pray that no one amongst us is going to be taken out by the power of evil or by the forces of darkness because we are protected by the anointing but i'm not going to go to times we see sir could you not change it when anointing to not change it when anointing it is the anointing of god that protects our lives from the evil systems of this world we are sustained by the anointing if there's anything that we can talk about we never supposed to lose the anointing david cries to God and says don't take away your Holy Spirit and he knew that if the Holy Spirit is taken then his enemies are going to triumph over his life please keep the anointing intact in your life there's a quick teaching and then we wrap up this uh, this session tonight number one ten reasons why you suppose you, you why, 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 why uh, that render ten reasons that render the anointing useless ten reasons that render the anointing useless or that allow the anointing to leave the life of a person and expose that person to the systems of evil. Number one is sin. Number one is sin. Number one is sin. Chivi. Kutaziramari. The Bible says, Mubairo we chivi njirorufu. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. If you don't protect your life from sin, if you're not going to allow yourself to be transformed by the word of God, to become righteous, the righteousness of God. If you go in, what, guys, I want you to listen to this. This is very painful, but this is very important. In this season, never allow sin to overcome your life, to overcome your mind, that you render the anointing useless. I've dealt with a lot of people in this world, and one thing that I've discovered is that at a certain point, at a certain time in their life, people lose 
the anointing. And one of the main reasons why they lose their ipap and opaninya is one of the main reasons why people lose the anointing and they are exposed to the devil is sin, sin, sin. G-B-S-I-N. Please, I pray. Ah, uh, akuna chini chaka ipa. Panyika pano wano amari seku vumiza chibi kudichoa ni mkana muupenyu wako. You will render the anointing useless and powerless. In reality, what happens is that the anointing is going to leave your life. Uh, the anointing will leave your life. The anointing will leave your life. The protection is gone. Listen to me. Listen to me. There are certain things that you just have to understand. If you don't understand it, your life is exposed. Your future is exposed. Your children are exposed. Your business is exposed. Your financial systems are exposed. Everything about your life is exposed. When I always talk about this, do not guarantee Kana zitori nani? Ah, kuti uende unanga, ubati mshonga. Pani kuti unenda kuchechu chinamata, but uchitadzi ramari uchi ziva. The Bible talks about kutadzi ramari kuronzi kutadzi ramu ya mchene kutadza nebgoni. Kutadza uchi ziva. Doing something that you know is wrong. Doing exactly something that you know is wrong. Pai bisho wara maro ti maro wakare gera kes nguva zeku sa ziva. But ano rai ramu nwese kwese kwese kuta shike pano tende uka ati zeku chakai pa. Ti zane upenyu wako. Joseph did this. We always talk about the story of Joseph and we applaud his life. But the success of Joseph, I, I want you to know, it was predicated on his ability to run away from sin. It was foundationally laid on his capacity to run away from sin. And Joseph ran away. He left his court. It was better for him to go to jail with an anointing than to, than to live in Potiphar's house without the anointing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is better to go to jail with an anointing than to live in Potiphar's house without the anointing. And he said, I would rather go to jail. If he was putting me in jail, it is better. I'm going to jail, but I'm carrying the anointing in jail. And you, you, we all know the story. The, 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 the rest is history. We always talk about how then he rose from jail to the throne. Straight from the jail cell, straight to the throne. Because of the anointing, because of the anointing. This guy kept the anointing and he went to jail with the anointing. And the anointing still worked for him in jail. The anointing will work for you in Zambia. The way anointing will work for you in South Africa. The anointing will work for you in UK. The anointing will work for you everywhere, anywhere. And the anointing will still kick in and work for your life. And the anointing will still stand for your life. I want to assure somebody who has been running away from sin, who has been saying it's okay, but I'm so Standing on the word of the Lord. I want to assure you that the Lord will fight for you. No matter what you face. No matter the, the retribution. No matter the betrayal. When people say negative things about you. When people throw you in jail. I want to declare to your life. I don't care whether you are in the pit. Whether you are in jail. You are coming out by the power of the anointing. You are coming out by the power of the anointing. I don't care what you are facing. You are coming out by the power of the anointing. You are coming out by the power of the anointing. You are coming out by the power of the anointing. It is better. It is better. It is better. You discover that when you read uh, uh, um, uh, in Hebrews chapter number 11, the, 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 the faith hall of fame, the Bible says, talks about Moses and he says, he, Moses said, it is better for me to suffer with the children of Israel than to eat the 
bread of sin than to eat and save the king of Pharaoh or, 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 or save the, the pagan king to be sinful, to be worshipping gods, gods that I don't even know, gods that I've not been brought up with, God who is not Jehovah. I stand with you tonight and I want to tell you that every person who has been riding on this word, running away from sin, protecting your life from sin, making sure that you are clean from this sinful life, you are creating power for yourself. You are creating a future for yourself. I declare that the future is bright and brighter. Your light is shining brighter and brighter. Your destiny is coming out clear and clear. God will fight for you and God will stand for you. Keep on going, 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 keep on going. Do not be moved, do not be shifted, do not be moved, not by anything. Be sustained by the fire and the power of the Spirit of God. Tiza ne upenyo wako tiza, tiza ne upenyo wako tiza, tiza chakaipa, tiza chakaipa. Usafuri wene shamari, usafuri wene van, usa nyenge wene nyika, usa van, usa kanga nishwa na van. Bye, Mr. Ramari Noti. Usa nyenge zwa mwari ase kwi. Jino jigara munu doza ano kowa, kana munaka jigara chivi ano kowa kuora. Ano jigara upenyo, ano jigara, ano jigara, ano jigara, ano jigara. Zakanaka righteousness. Anokoa upenyu singa peri. I declare unto your life this word is true, is true forever. The power of the Lord is coming on your life. When we declare the power, it is for those that have protected themselves, that are willing to serve God and serve God without sin. Serve God pure save god righteous save god in the rightful place save god stand for the lord and the lord will stand for you i don't know how to say this and declare it to your life it is better to be a smart christian or a poor christian who is who is smart in terms of sin than a rich person who is not who is, who is not clean because the devil will use you the devil will eat you for breakfast he will save you for 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 supper for 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 for, for lunch and he will finish you for dinner the devil will eat you oh one of these days he will he will find you Ah, uh, the Bible says, Mufaro wa singa ni mwari, dewe nguwa pupi. You are not going anywhere. It's not going to be long before the devil pulls you down. Uno dons wa bachki, uno dons wa bachki na satan. If you allow the devil to use you, if you allow the devil to stand on your life and use you in this world, uno anoku, one day the devil will pull you with the devil will pull you from the throne. Mangwana uno nyadzi squa. Nyaya kwe cha nyadzi sa. Satan acha ku nyadzi sa. Chengeta upenyu wako. Chengeta. Rurama. Rurama. Chena. Kumbira rure gere. Rupambiri pangwa. Reurura. Every sin that entangle our lives can be confessed. The Bible says, confess your sins one to another so that your joy may be full. Uh, confess your sins. Confess your sins. Confess your sins one to another so that your joy may be full. We are declaring anointing every day, every Sunday, every service, every session on Facebook, everywhere. And people shout, I receive. But I'll tell you that one thing that will bar the anointing away out of your life is, is, is mainly sin. Chivi. Chivi chaura ya makristu. Chivi chakwa za makristu. Chino tada because as one kwe nevanu. But marano ziwona. Anointing ino reader. Anointing ino understand. I was talking about the story of David the other time. And I was saying David is... He has not been called to go where the king is about to be enthroned. And the king is about to be anointed. 
And Samuel has been sent by God to go and anoint the next king of Israel. Because God has rejected Saul. God has rejected Saul and says, I found a man out of my own heart. Go to Jesse's house. Pick those pick that family. Take them. One of them has been called by God. He is going to be anointed now by the oil. So go and anoint the next king of Israel. And, and Jesse uh, says, David, you can go back uh, uh, Kumakwai. And then the rest of the, of the team can go to be anointed one of them is definitely going to be anointed and and, and 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 what happened is even samuel the prophet could not pick who is supposed to be the the, the next king of israel he did not see god did not give him the eyes the prophetic did not work but the anointing can never miss oh my god 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 I want you to know guys people can miss it people might not even know that you are doing the right thing people might not even understand what you're doing and how you're doing it but I want you to know that when the anointing comes when it is about the anointing the anointing cannot miss the anointing knows your life the anointing knows what you did yesterday the anointing knows what you're doing today the anointing knows what you're thinking in your mind and when the anointing is about to be poured if you not you if you if you're not right with God if you're not right standing with God the anointing will not touch your hand so each one of them began to come and ready to be anointed the first one came and the anointing would not fall the second one came and the anointing did not fall the third one came and the anointing did not fall because the anointing can read the anointing knows the anointing can miss human beings can can get confused you can bribe them you can give them money you cannot uh, you cannot you can you cannot bribe the anointing you cannot bribe the anointing. The anointing knows 100% who is right and who is not doing the right thing. Sin. And finally, and finally, Samuel says the anointing is not falling. So, some, so someone is not here who is supposed to be anointed. The one who is supposed to be anointed is not in this place. Guys, call that person who is not here. And Jesus says, there's one guy, I know my food, my, my food that that guy does not deserve to be king. He's the youngest. He's, 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 he's that, he's that. And, 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 and Samuel says, no one is going to eat. Nothing is going to happen here until that boy comes. And finally, when David walks in, uh, dirty, you know, you know, this guy battered, coming from uh, uh, struggling and suffering in the forest, uh, tending for the sheep. The anointing immediately, the anointing does not look on the clothes of a person. The anointing does not look on your tie, on your collar. The anointing does not look on the title that you have, your bishop, archbishop, prophet, prophet, what? It doesn't care. The anointing does not look at that. The anointing will fall on the right person. When the right person comes, the anointing will fall. Then when the right person, the anointing will fall. When the right person comes, the anointing will fall. When the right person comes, the anointing will fall the anointing will kick in the anointing will start working so you will discover that the anointing does not miss the anointing does not go to the wrong person the anointing will fall to the right person the anointing will fall to the right person and I pray for you I pray for you that in this season you will receive the anointing and sin will not distract you sin will not push you away from the anointing for a big vision that you are carrying some of you are carrying so much so much so many big visions you're carrying big visions for nations visions for family visions for society and communities visions for companies visions for financial breakthroughs visions for ministry all those visions will require the anointing and if the anointing does not fall on your life then we are in serious danger but i pray that in this season the anointing will fall on your life the anointing will touch your head there's an anointing that's waiting for your vision there's an anointing that's waiting for where you are, for what you have been trying to do there's an anointing for something that you are fighting to get to there's an anointing for the destination that you are going and i pray that in this season that anointing will fall on your head not not no 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 i pray that you not miss it because of sin I pray that sin will not destroy the presence of the anointing in your life.
ay, 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 ay. When the right person comes, the anointing will fall. You are the right person. You are the right person. You are the person that the anointing has been waiting for. It has been waiting for your life. You have done well, Joseph. You have done well, David. You have done well, Samson. You have done well before. The anointing has been waiting for you. And in this season, that anointing is coming to your life. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, one thing that I pray for is that you don't lose this anointing. You don't lose this anointing because of trivialities, simple things of this world, sweet things that do not give you a, 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 a good ending, things that look so nice and so beautiful, but they don't take you anywhere. You will not lose your anointing because of this rubbish, all this nonsense that's going on in this world, this fluffy, fluffy thing that's going all over the place. You will not lose the anointing because of them. You will stand like Joseph and fight for your vision you will stand like joseph and fight for your dream you will stand like joseph and fight for where you are going you will stand like joseph and not be intimidated by the jail you will stand like joseph and run away with your life you will stand like joseph and not be intimidated by the forces of evil you will stand like joseph and not be taken down by 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 evil people People, evil people who are always in sin. People that have been sinning in their mind, that have been sinning in their mind, but now want to sin with their flesh. They will not use you. They will not take you down. I pray for the young men out there. They are, this, that sin will not bring you down. I pray for the young women out there because of the great visions that you carry. Sin will not take you down. I pray for that sin will not destroy the big vision that God has given you. You will stand in this season and say, I'm a child of God. I'm not going down just like that. And this goes square and it does snap master manga mang. I will stand like Joseph and fight for my life. I'll stand like Joseph and run away with a good chamber. It's no pambi, it's no, it's no, it's no para da ubenu evana. I will stand like Joseph and run away with my anointing. I will stand like Joseph uh, and run away with the grace of God on my life. Uh. I will stand like Joseph uh, and run away with the plan of God for my future. I will stand like Joseph uh, and run away with my systems, with everything that God has given me. I will stand like Joseph uh, and run away with everything on my body. I will stand with my, like Joseph uh, and run away for where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to achieve. I'm not going down. I'm a child of God, called by God. In this season, the vision that I carry for Zimbabwe, the vision that I carry for this nation will not die. The vision that I carry for Africa will not collapse. Uh. The vision that I carry for the world will not collapse. Uh. I'm carrying a vision for the young people. I'm carrying a vision for the mothers. I'm carrying a vision for the ladies. I'm carrying a vision for our men and our young men. The future is shining brighter. My light will shine in this season. The light is propelled by the anointing. The anointing will make my light to shine brighter and brighter. Oh my God, as I preach now, I feel so much anointing going on in my life. Sin will not destroy me. I'm not going to be taken down by useless things of this world. My vision will not die. My vision will stand. The future that I carry will stand. I like Joseph. I'm going to achieve what I need to achieve. I like Joseph. 
And this will cause when it's you know, I pray that somebody out there can hear me what I'm talking about and what I'm preaching, what I'm ministering in this service, what I'm talking to about. I I will not allow that to be to to take to sway me to sway me to sway me I'm standing for what I believe my vision is rising my belief is rising my faith is growing my strength is standing the vision that I carry will be achieved and it will be achieved in this season I feel the anointing in my life I feel the anointing I feel don't allow this anointing to go don't allow it to go stand on the fall fortified stool of the anointing it, you will get there you will get there you will make it you will make it the command and maskana you will make it you will make it you will make it unorwa unochata unobata mari yako unotenga so unoda unobuild imba yako unovaka unovaka anointing is constant to stand on your life don't be intimidated don't be moved Push up, push up, push up. I know it's difficult. I know it's tough. I understand I'm also a human. I also carry a human flesh. And I know how difficult it is, but I'm keeping my anointing. I'm keeping my anointing. I'm running through the race. I'm running through the challenges. I'm jumping through the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm skating through the, the problems and the situations and the circumstances all, all over my life. I'm rising, I'm rising. I'm rising, I'm rising. I'm rising, I'm rising, I'm rising. I'm rising. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of COVID because the anointing is on my life. I'm not afraid of this pandemic because the anointing is on my life. I have not allowed the anointing to leave me not one day, not one second, not one minute. I, I keep the anointing on my life because of the great visions that I carry. Because of the great grace that I carry. Because of the many people that are connected to my life. Because of the things that I need to build before I die. <laughs> so I will not allow the anointing to leave my, my life. I will not allow the anointing to leave my body. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've been taken away by this. The anointing is pushing me. It's pushing me. It's driving me crazy. There's an anointing in this place. There's an anointing in this season. Please don't lose this anointing. Keep the anointing running. Keep the anointing going. The anointing is everything that you need I'm still trying to go to number two because number one is still blowing me off sin some for me they achieve me don't allow sin to take away the great grace that God has released for your life and for your future what do you do when you when you have sinned confess your sins confess them and you will be pure and clean and God will give you another chance you have been forgiven before you sinned you have already been forgiven you have already this is why Jesus died on the cross he died for sins committed and sins that were supposed to then be committed in nations and generations to come so your sins have already been committed before for you, have, you the, 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 the sins have already uh, 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 been forgiven before you even sinned. So don't be afraid to confess your sins. Don't be afraid to confess your sins. Confess your sins so that you may be clean, you may be smart, and then the anointing will find a place to stay. It is better to go to jail. This statement is still taking me down. It is better to go to jail with my anointing than to live in Potiphar's house without the anointing. Keep your anointing. Keep your anointing. Keep your anointing. Keep your anointing. I'm keeping my anointing. Keep your anointing. I'm keeping my anointing. To Sanga and Beriko, we will still be successful. Through the place that we face and the challenges that we face, we, 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 we. 
Ah, I pray that you can keep this anointing. You can keep it. You can keep it. Chivi si anana cho. Si anana wakazwe vanu. Si anana vo. Si anana zinu sirizo. Si anana zo se njiga ino. Si anana zo. Si anana zo. I know I'm speaking to someone here. Si anana zo. Si anana zo. You, the anointing is better than all these things that you 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 are seeing all over the place. The anointing, the anointing is way better than all these things that that we see. Keep your anointing. Keep it. 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 Don't allow the anointing to go. Don't allow the anointing to be lost because of these things in this world. Number one. Number two. Oh my God. I don't know if I still have time. But let me let me try. Let me try to. But let's try. Let's try. Number two. One of the main reasons why people lose the anointing <sighs> number two is using <sighs> using certain other things that God has deemed or that God has said these things are not supposed to be used by Christians in one way, I've said using other anointings, using other things that are not Christian, that are not biblical, that are not godly, selling other things that we take from other, other places. I've been doing one-on-one -on -one sessions for the past few, few days now, from last week up to now, and one of the things that I've been grappling with is trying to understand why a certain person doesn't have a certain anointing. And I would pick it up through spiritual uh, insight that a lot of people have been using a lot of other trash. The moment that you begin to use those things, they are the true anointing of God will not stick on your life. Oh my God, oh my God. So, so lano zita, so lano zita, and so goes to a nganga, to a witch doctor, kuno bunzira, and he brings Samuel up out of, uh, out of the dead, and he begins to consult the dead. And God is not happy. I want you to understand that consulting the dead will take away the anointing in your life. Kuita zemi zimu, kuita zemi zimu. Kuita se mashabe kuchengeta machira enganga ne machira emudzimu machira emisha Izwai vana vamwari hatisanganisi manointing hatisanganisi 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 hatisang ah aye wa kwete mishonga i don't care about the neighbor apachi the only thing that I allow people to use um, uh, uh, are things that the doctors, the medical doctors, have prescribed for you to take. Shume jesej, shatiruku, aye wa, aye wa. One of our greatest challenges, there's a good most of these things. Men no kwas no no tor wane van. And then we have challenges. We have problem that we cannot deal with. And our greatest challenge when it comes to the anointing is that the anointing of God, the true anointing of God will not stick on your life. You cannot keep the anointing. Black and white, red, black, whatever. All these things, if you keep them in your life, you are allowing the anointing to leave. It means you have opened the door that the power of God will not stay on your life. It, this does not change because you are praying. This does not change because you are fasting. This does not change because you have given so much money to change. I want you to understand you need to keep the anointing on your life. Keep 
the power of God on your life. Don't allow it to leave. But one of the best ways to keep the anointing in your life is not for yourself to indulge in all these systems that people are using all over this place. There are a lot of people please you are going to be exposed and the anointing that's supposed to protect you will leave your life. Don't allow this anointing to leave. Keep your anointing. Keep your anointing. Ah, keep your anointing. Keep your anointing. Ah, power of an every time. I know. I think as parents and this guy who is a nganga begins to see the power that this guy is carrying. They were using the name of Jesus to drive out demons, to release uh, the force and the power of God against the systems of evil. And as they did this, this guy was looking and he marveled at what the name of Jesus could do. And he came to, to these guys and, and asked and say, True We can pay it with money. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know Ramari ari badar we ne mari. Ramari ne chopa di ari ten we ne mari. Kune manu mane simba ravaka no tenga somewhere. A time they are using it, machi tuwa kuna mata. It and yet it's not true. Kune simba vano ravaka no tenga ne mari. Kune kune mashave ne manu 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 shopera. And then they brought this power to the kingdom of God. And when you watch it, you remember Christ. When you watch it, you remember prophet. When you watch it, you know Shandira. When you watch it, you know Batira. But at the end of the day, you discover that uh, a lot of our lives then are exposed. This is why I am so afraid to allow people to just be going to any other shrine in any other place to try and worship God and try and be given a, a, a lot of other concussions and things. Please listen to me, child of God. I am praying for you that you don't lose the anointing. Please don't lose this anointing. This is the power of God. It is the force of God that 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 sustain the Christian community. This is, we are sustained by the anointing. We are sustained by the power and the force of of God that comes on our lives. Izo izo siana na zo siana na zo siana na zo siana na zo. Don't allow these things to take you down. Don't allow these things to take you out. Don't allow these things to force you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And a lot of Christians, well meaning Christians, sincere Christians are struggling now to try and build up a legacy and build up their visions because the anointing is left. Let allow the anointing of the whole Spirit of God to continue to fight for your life. Allow the anointing of the Spirit of God to stand for what you are doing and where you are going. Allow the anointing of the Spirit of God to be on your life. I'm praying for you that you will never lose the anointing because of these fluffy, fluffy, fluffy things of this world. Don't allow them to take away your vision, take away your life, take away your honesty, take away your power. I pray that you carry your power. You, you carry the grace of God on your life. You take it until to the very end. Takura mchinji kwa wako kushika kwa upedze sera. Takura shungu dhago ni nyasha dhago za mwari kushika kwa upedze sera kwa upenyu wako. Takura shawaka piwa na mwari kushika kwa shika. Don't allow anything to do to distract you so that at the end of the day you lose your anointings. So using other anointings he has changed and shifted a lot of people and not allowed them to then uh, access what they are supposed to have and where they're supposed to go. I pray that the power of God will come on your life. It will bless you. It will sustain you. It will increase in your life. It will continue to grow day after day. The power of God is coming on your life and that thing please don't allow it to go please don't allow it to leave chengeta zodzora mwari pamsoro pako chengeta zodzora mwari pamsoro pe upenyo wako chengeta zodzora mwari pamsoro pe future yako chengeta zodzora mwari kwa uenda kure ko 
Orgue and Akure, don't mix it, don't mix it, don't. I have plenty of testimonies <coughs> of many people who have then used a lot of other nonsense things. And then we have challenges trying to sustain these people under the power of the anointing. Some of them were sick and God was healing them through the anointing and then they lost the power and they lost the healing. Oh my God. Some of them were building big things, uh, monumental things, but they lost the the vision they lost the power because they had lost the anointing and because they lost the, they, they, they had lost the anointing the main reason why they lost the anointing was that they in they 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 they, they, they engulfed themselves with these things they joined their bodies their, their, their do you not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit don't allow this body to be messed up by these systems and these things of this world don't allow your life to be contaminated by all these things that are coming on your, on your life. Please don't mix the anointings. Please don't mix the anointings. Please don't mix the anointings. Please don't create a punch. Ah, where you mix this anointing from this man of God and that anointing from that man of God and that anointing from this man of God, you might not know that this all, or maybe, maybe all these people are not working in the same direction. So you will lose the grace of God on your life. The good, the rightful anointing that you carry, please don't mix the anointings. Don't create a punch of anointings. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of people that go to uh, different churches when there's an anointing service and in that church and they are releasing an anointing service and you go there you get the, get the anointing oil you go to that church you get or you also get the anointing oil you do, then go to that church again and take the anointing oil and then you come and you mix all these anointings because Zora anointing you Zora anointing you Zora anointing you Zora anointing you Zora anointing I will tell you you are just destroying your life because most of these anointings you cannot mix them the true anointing of God cannot be mixed. You cannot keep the true anointing of God when you are putting the other negative anointings on your life. Protect your life. Cover yourself. In the name of Jesus, I pray that somebody will receive and understand what I'm teaching in this season. Oh my God. Oh my God, I understand, I pray that somebody will receive something as I teach these things in this season. I preach with, I preach, I preach with fire, I preach with power because there's an anointing that pushing me to talk about what I'm talking about. Please don't mix the anointings, please don't mix the anointings. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Number two, let me finish up with number three today and then we take it up again next week uh, on another dimension. Uh -huh. Number three, uh, uh, there was a subject that I was teaching the other time when I was saying that the anointings can be imparted. The people that are carrying powerful graces, powerful anointings. For, for, for a lot of other things, they might not be speaking in tongues, but they're carrying an anointing. There are certain people that you, 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 you cannot say that they are, they are powerful Christians because you can't see them speaking in tongues, you can't see them healing the sick, you can't see them commanding demons to come out of their lives, but you see their lives prospering. They have a massive anointing in the inside of your life, of their life, that prospers what they do. The plenty of people that are carrying so much anointing for prosperity and success and they keep going and they keep rising and they keep changing from one dimension to the next dimension. I pray that you will be able to respect and understand these people. So number three, the number three thing that I want to talk about is the people that fight the anointed. The people that fight the anointed people. I want you to know that if you're going to keep an anointing in your life, you don't fight the person who has anointed you. You don't fight the person who has anointed you. Anointing can be imparted. So there are a lot of people that teach you things. And in the process of teaching you, they are releasing the anointing in their lives. Ah, I hope this, this, this one can be gotten. Please, please, please pick this up. Please take this up. 
There are a lot of people when they teach you business, they release the grace and the anointing on their life for business. There are a lot of people who teach you certain other concepts that you need to understand. And as they teach you those concepts, they release an anointing over your, over your life. They give you the grace that has enabled them to, to, to push up the ladder and buy certain beautiful cars and build so, long, so, so beautiful homes and build certain things, companies, multinational companies and so forth. They are people with certain graces. They might not be speaking. When you're talking about anointing, we're not saying it's going to be imparted by a person who is only speaking in tongues or a person who is declaring it on your life and say, this is the anointing, take it. The moment you begin to receive certain teachings from certain people, whether these people are teaching you on Facebook, whether these people are teaching you online, whether these people are teaching you uh, on YouTube, whether these people you are reading their books, they are the anointing that get trans that get transferred to your system, to your life by the concepts, by the acceptance of certain concepts that come into your life. I'm teaching now. I'm teaching this. This is very important. I'm teaching now. There are certain concepts that you have received that you know that I did not receive them from God, but I read them from a book. I got them when somebody was talking about it. I got them when someone was teaching about it. And then you disregard that person who taught you that. You will lose the anointing that enabled him to take that. So that you get to a place or a level where you are applying a principle that worked for someone but that principle will never work for you because that principle that won't work on its own it is empowered by the anointing principles are powered by the anointing so there are certain principles that will never work if you don't have the anointing there are certain principles that can only work if you are backed up by the anointing. The anointing that backs that principle is the anointing that you need for, for that principle to begin to work for you. The anointing that backs up, I, I'm, I'm repeating this statement, this is very important. The anointing that backs up the principle is the anointing that you need. So that when you apply the, of the principle, you also get the same results that this person got. Otherwise, if you apply the principle without the anointing, you can fast like Jesus for 40 days and 40 nights and not achieve the same results that you got that he got out of fasting because you are not carrying the same anointing that he carried when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights you might fast for three days and three nights like Esther and not be able to achieve the same goals and the same power and the same capacity and ability that she carried after three days and three nights of fasting you might go for absolute fastings just like that. You might go for partial fastings like Daniel. Go for 21 days and still not achieve the, the great grace that Daniel had. The great vision that came to his life will not come to you. Because behind the principle is an anointing. I said behind the principle is, not a, is an anointing. If you read a concept in a book, and you don't understand the person that wrote the, the concept and you don't regard and, and you disregard that person i want you to know that behind the principle is the anointing so there are a lot of people that did a lot of things one of the cases that i'll talk about in the bible is a very interesting case where isaac dug a well and the philistines came and they took over the well they did not realize that behind the process of digging a well was an anointing to dig a well. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Bible says the anointing will teach you all things. And there are certain times when the anointing will tell you to go and dig a well and tell you the rightful place and you do the right thing and you get the water. When he got the water, they thought that it was just the process or the principle of digging a well. They, they did not know that behind the process of digging a well was an anointing. I'm about to close this broadcast. Please listen to me. Behind every principle is an anointing. Behind every vision is an anointing. Behind every success is an anointing. Behind every healing is an anointing. Behind every message that we preach is an anointing. 
You can take somebody's message who has been preaching maybe on Facebook, on YouTube, and you preach the same message, and then you don't keep the anointing that the person carries. You can preach it as best as you can, but you might never achieve the same results that this guy got. Because the results, when you're talking about results, it's not just because of the principle. It is primarily because of the anointing, the anointing, the power of God that covers for that principle and allows that principle to become action. And when you put it into action, that principle then brings up the results. Uh, I pray somebody can get this. I pray that somebody is getting something. I'm about to close. This is very critical. This is very important. You can, you can go for 40 days and 40 nights in the, in, the, in the mountain like Moses, but never achieve the same vision and the same goals. You, 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 might, you might do the same principle uh, 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 like, uh, like Joseph, like Joseph and go into jail and believe that you, you come out of jail straight onto the throne. It will never happen like that because there was an anointing that propelled Joseph from jail to the throne. There's an anointing that propelled David. There's an anointing that propelled Samson. There's an anointing that propelled Jesus. There's an anointing that propelled Paul. When he preached, he preached under the influence of the anointing. When he was traveling, he was traveling under the influence of the anointing. When he was doing whatever he was doing, he was doing it under the influence of the anointing. So behind every principle, behind every, every good work, behind every Every good thing that you see or that you read or that you understand from, uh, 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 from scripture or from people's lives. There is an anointing. And one thing that I want you to know is that you would rather respect that person. And honor that person and not fight that person. And not gossip about that person. So that you can carry the impartation that came to you because of the teaching. When you received the teaching, there was an impartation that was already going on so that the teaching might get might be powerful, as powerful it is, as it is, as, as, as it is in that person's life. I'm about to close. I hope I'm talking to somebody. Please don't, 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 don't fight the anointed. The Bible says, touch not my anointed. Don't fight them. These people are teaching you principles and systems that work. Don't fight them. Don't fight them. Don't break them down. Don't pull them down. Don't gossip about them. Don't talk about them. Don't talk negative about these people that are helping your life. The principles that they teach you will not work. Because the, the prince behind the principles is an anointing. I hope somebody is getting something. I hope somebody is getting something. I'm just about to pray and I'm just about to close. I, I hope you got something out of this session. Three things that I talked about uh, uh, tonight. Reasons that allow the anointing to live the life of a person. Number one is seen. Uh, number two is mixing anointings. Uh, uh, and then uh, number three is fighting the anointed person. Is fighting the anointing person. I'm just about to pray. I'm just about to pray. I hope somebody got something out of this session. It's powerful. If you have any questions, please throw them in uh, so that we can attack them and talk about them and give you some, some insights to from about where you're coming from and where you're going. And that the Lord will bless you and increase you and anoint you and, 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 and keep the, that anointing on your life. The anointing of the Lord can leave the Bible says the gifts of the Lord are without repentance. Giftings will come and they will not leave. But anointing, anointing will leave. Anointing I gare marara. Anointing I gare sirisho. Anointing I gare kanamachita sirisho. You will lose the anointing. And which is the power that's supposed to enable you to achieve your great graces and your great visions. I pray that somebody has got something out there. If you have any questions, please throw them in. If you have um, uh, any comment, please comment it on, on, in the comment section. Say something so that we know you're here. And uh, we bless God for your life and we pray for you. I'm about to close this session. I hope somebody has been blessed. Somebody got something out of this session. I, I hope that God will bless you and will increase you and empower you and take you to the next dimension. Three things that are critical that you're taking out of this session. Don't allow sin to entangle you. Mm. 
Don't mix anointings. Don't go anywhere. Don't move the dial. Don't, don't go anywhere. Stick to the one anointing that God is blessing you through. If God begins to bless you through a certain anointing, allow that anointing to continue to work in your life. Push you up and take you to, to, to the levels that you're finally supposed to get to. Number three, don't fight the anointed. Don't fight the anointed. Don't fight the anointed. Don't fight the anointing. May God richly bless you. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each and every one here. <laughs> who tuned in tonight as we spoke about the anointing. We're still growing. My light will shine again. And I believe so. That if, the, if we can keep the anointing in our lives, that anointing will enable the light on our lives to keep on shining. We we'll bless you. We honor you. We glorify you. We thank you. May your anointing, may your grace, grace, may your great grace be upon each and every person that I'm praying for now. Some, are, some people are going to watch this, this, this one way after the program is over. But Father, I pray that may this anointing touch them through the teaching as they receive. If they can receive this teaching, Father, I pray that the anointing will also touch their lives. And go by impartation straight into their systems and enable them at a certain point at a certain time when they face certain challenges they will be able to pull out that anointing and break the systems of evil challenge the status quo thank you spirit of the mighty living god for each and every person who was connected i bless their lives i thank you I don't take it for granted because they're connected they're using their money they're using their data with burning data bundles but father i pray that you will reward them for each and everything that they have done, you will anoint them, glorifying your name. We praise you, we honor you, we bless you. Keep and protect our families. Keep them from COVID-19. I pray that, that this pandemic will not destroy our faith, will not destroy our strength, will not kill our loved ones. We are protected and covered by the anointing of the Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you so much. See you next week. And God richly bless you.